Hi there. Here's a short topic video to explain the distinction between the accelerator effect and the multiplier effect. The accelerator effect is the link between consumption and investment. In other words, it's the relationship between the rate of growth of national income or GDP and planned capital spending by businesses. So in an industry or a market where demand is growing quickly, so for example telecommunications, firms may respond initially by running down their existing capacity, uh, by running down their stocks for example, or in the long run if they think demand is going to be sustained, if they think there's going to be a high level of consumer demand for their product, they may well decide to, to ramp up their investment in new plant and machinery, new technology, extra factory space, etc. In other words, to grow their supply capacity. So when the rate of growth of demand leads to an increase in investment, that is called a positive accelerator effect. Oftentimes, a given change in demand actually causes a big increase in investment because investment can be quite lumpy, many millions of pounds spent on new factories and technology. The multiplier is the other way around. It's the effect of investment on the level of GDP. So a change in one or more of the components of aggregate demand, could be exports, could be government spending, could be investment, is likely to lead to a bigger final change in GDP. And the multiplier effect arises because injections of fresh demand for goods and services into the circular flow model, they bring about further increases in incomes and then more spending. Factor incomes provide the resources for people to spend more on goods and services. And if the multiplier effect is high, a small change in one of the components of demand can lead to a much bigger final increase in equilibrium GDP and also employment. The formal calculation for the multiplier, which we cover in a separate topic video, is that the multiplier is 1 divided by the sum of the leakages from the circular flow. The marginal propensity to tax, the marginal rate of import demand, and the marginal propensity to save. That's the difference between the accelerator effect and the multiplier effect.